Hi, I'm Scott Sheldon, and welcome to this episode of Wine Gazer. Thank you so much for tuning in. So in this episode, we're doing a feature on unoaked Chardonnay, also known as Chardon the Buff, Birthday Suit Chardonnay, and of course, my favorite, Nudie Chard. So without further ado, let's get into the wine. Wine number one, coming from Passaggio. 2010 California Chardonnay, 100% stainless steel, rolls in at $19, 14% alcohol. Cynthia Costco is the winemaker, met her on Facebook, and I tell you, social media and wine just goes together like peanut butter and jelly. Met so many great people on social media who are just wine nerds like me, and I'm really grateful for that. Get this wine a pour. Out of that. Pretty clear, a little bit of film to it. A little, not film, I guess I should say a little cloudiness to it. Um, kind of light straw color, nice shine. So, beautiful aromas of mango, pineapple, uh, some citrus, more specifically, uh, some lemon zest coming through. Also great uh, pronounced minerality with this wine, which I really dig. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Great flavors of like tart, green apple coming through. Great uh, like lime zest action on the palate and um, the acidity is just dancing on your tongue. Nice, light, long finish, and a little bit of sweetness to this wine, and uh, not real heavy. Nice wine, $19, I'm going 88 points on this wine. Good start to the show. Let's move on to wine number two. So in case you've uh, been hearing the crazy sounds going on in the background, I know you've asked, up with the music uh, today it's actually an old tape of me and my friend Charlie jamming on some synthesizers back in the day I'm gonna throw that up as the background music I'm afraid if I get some P Diddy or Lady Gaga going on in the background you know I might get sued like the show shut down it would be a good thing um, wine number two coming from four vines 2010 Santa Barbara County Chardonnay this fruit comes from the northern part of Santa Barbara County in an area called Cat Canyon, three different vineyards where they pull the fruit from. Uh, $12 suggested retail, 50,000 cases produced. Uh, one of the things on this show, I'm hoping to you know, have wines on here that you can go out and you know, actually find either online or uh, in the supermarket or the you know, wine shop that you go to without you know, killing yourself so that you can get involved, get the discussion going, and have some fun pairing it up, you know, being nerdy, because that's what it's all about. Uh, Christian Taji, the winemaker at Four Vines, um, they also do some great uh, Zinfandels over at that uh, winery. Uh, look at the color, a little more clear, I would say, than the first wine. So this wine, right off the bat, more minerality, less fruit on the nose. Um, there's some nice pear coming in on the nose. A little bit of honey, but you know, got a lot of flint, a lot of steel coming through. Let's give the wine a taste. So I'm really liking the, um, the tartness of this wine. Depending upon how you like your wine, you know, sweet to tart. Definitely a heavier mouthfeel than the first wine. Um, the flavors on the palate are more about just the citrus fruit, some tangerine, some lemon, some lime, and great acid, but you know, kind of heavier, kind of not as sweet as the first wine. So. You know, things to think about when you're trying to choose a unoaked Chardonnay. 
Uh, $12 US. I'm going 86 points on this wine. Solid. So, you know, if you're new to the category, you're not familiar with an oak Chardonnay, you've been drinking a lot of the heavier uh, classic California Chardonnays. Um, this isn't like a tree branch soaked in clarified butter overnight. You're not going to get that coming through. It's more about pure expression of, you know, tropical citrus fruits, stone fruits, uh, more minerality, less butter, less oak. Um, these two wines, the first two wines, no oak, all 100% um, stainless steel. So let's move on to the third wine, Unchained. Big House Wineries Unchained Chardonnay 2010. They're up in Livermore, California. And um, Georgetta Dane is the winemaker up there. 30,000 cases uh, produced. So again, you should be able to find this wine. Uh, $9.99 is the retail on it. And um, they've kind of had, you know, this reputation for doing things against the grain, not going so much for um, the big name varietals like Chardonnay, Merlot, Cabernet. Pinot Noir. Um, they're more going for, you know, off the beaten path blends and varietals. And so here we go with a little unknown Chardonnay. However, it, this wine actually is seen a little bit of neutral oak and a little bit of stainless steel. So you may be, um, you know, it's a funny term, this unknown category, because some wines actually do use some neutral oak that just has a real slight um, impact on the wine. Pour it up. Got a different wine glass here, I'll show you guys. This is a fun glass, you know, if you are a challenged wine swirler, very easy to swirl wine in this glass and not spill it. Um, so, just a little FYI for you. Got these at Crate and Barrel. It's fun to play around, you know, with different uh, stemware. Yeah, it's a fun thing shot at that. Very clear, nice golden color. Great minerality on this wine. I mean, this is like, I was running through like a dry riverbed as a kid. I remember going up to Big Sur in, in the summertime, just running through a dry riverbed with all these different stones, and you get like the same kind of, like a flintiness coming through on the wine. That's just fantastic. Good flavors of stone fruit and um, a little aroma of like, um, like a jasmine flower, I would say. Wow. This wine, in comparison to the first two, is more of a fruit bomb, as they say. Um, I know a lot of people reserve that term for red wines, but this wine um, definitely has a lot more fruit uh, coming on on the palate. And I think, you know, fruit bomb, it's a term that can be used for white wines or red wine. It's just, you know, abundance, a real concentration of tropical fruits here. Nice stone fruits. You got like some really nice peaches, some pear coming through. A really great wine. Um, Ten bucks, man. I'm going 88 points on this wine. Um, three different Chardonnays, you know, all a little bit different, all under twenty dollars. Great category, great food wines. Um, you know, you're looking like shellfish, scallops, um, you know, chicken breast, a little pork tenderloin. Um, hey, if you like spicy food, you know, some Indian food, some Thai food, you're trying to figure out what to pair with, you know, that kind of cuisine. An oaked Chardonnay is definitely, um, you know, a good match. I mean, it's going to uh, not compete with your attention so much um, with the food, but complement those flavors, and that's what a good food wine is all about. And so, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and thank you so much for tuning in. And I would love to hear from you. Have you ever had an oak Chardonnay? And if so, what do you think about it? So until next time, cheers.